What are your thoughts on polar bear? <laughs> 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 Did you just have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are your thoughts on polar bears? That's what I said. I said, what are your thoughts on polar bears? Um, what are your thoughts on pol- Kelsey? What are your thoughts on polar bears? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think about them often. I don't have much of an opinion yeah. on them. They just on the rankings of bears. Uh huh. Where is it at for you? Well, first of all, how many bears are there? I don't know. Just let's do. Is it in the top three for you? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's in the top three of mine also because. They're polar bears. They're pretty cool. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name's <laughs> Preston, <laughs> and this, and I'm here with Kelsey. And this is a typical podcast. <laughs> Can I know what your bears are then? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it goes for obvious reasons. Grizzly bear. Mm-hmm. Polar bear. Okay. Panda bear. Ooh, panda bear. Mm-hmm. Okay, for me, I'll say <clears throat> teddy bear. Okay. Gummy bear. Okay. And koala bear. Oh, wait, I have to have polar bear in there? No, well, you said it was in I your top three. I did say that. Then so. I would be a liar if yeah. I didn't. Uh, do I want to give up? Is koala still, is koala considered a bear? It's a marsupial. A what? A marsupial. You know what that is? I really don't. It's a, well, it's a marsupial. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, zoologist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just know what it is. Okay, yeah, I don't want to be a liar, so I would say teddy bear, gummy bear, polar bear, I guess. Good, good, yeah. He's on the icy cup, so I guess that that's valid. Yeah. They got polar bears on that's there. That's marketing. Yeah. Isn't he also like, wasn't he like Coca-Cola also? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Polar bears are celebrities. Yeah, but they're rosebud. <laughs> do you mind? Oh, <laughs> do you have to go potty? All right, I gotta do this. All right, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> all right, enough of this polar bear talk, okay? Uh, if you were to f- what celebrity would you have? God damn it, let me look at the question. I for- <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it. Okay, what celebrity would you want to be friends with? Or just meet? Huh. Ooh. I would want to meet Post Malone, I think. Okay. He seems like a fun guy. Do you think you'd you'd be friends with him? Do you think yeah. he'd be friends with you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I would just be like... Because I think that I'm kind of like quiet and shy when I first meet somebody, so I yeah. don't think that he would like me. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that. I don't. I don't see him not liking someone just because they're like shy or quiet. He seems like the type of guy that's like, he knows that stuff. Like he's okay with that. Oh, he's with it. Yeah, he's yeah. not. He doesn't discriminate you because you're you're quiet. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with Posty. Okay. What about um, you. I think. Ryan Reynolds and I. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I, I know about this TikTok shit. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah. Oh, you've seen those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so everyone knows, I've made a bunch of TikToks in the past, like three or four, where like I compared myself as equals with Ryan Reynolds or like a lookalike. Mm-hmm. I think they're pretty funny. And anyway. <laughs> Uh yeah, I think Ryan Reynolds and I, we'd if be. You squint. I think we'd be friends. Yeah. If you squint at a picture of Ryan Reynolds, mm-hmm. and it's maybe like, I don't know, like in your face, six feet away from me. Okay. Yeah. And I'm squinting. Hmm. I see it. I see the resemblance. Do you actually, or are you just saying that? No, I'm saying that if I was squinting uh, okay. and it was far away from me. Yeah, I know what you're I saying. Could see fr- I would be like. Huh, is that Preston? <laughs> yeah, I see that too. Uh, no, okay. So I, Ryan Reynolds and I, I think we'd be good friends. Like, no jokes. I think we'd be good friends. And not like not like the type of best friends where we call each other every day. Mm-hmm. It's just we're busy. We're both busy. We got our stuff going on. I don't see that in our friendship. 
but the type of good friends we are, I could see us like in a, like if we were at a public appearance, like an event or like some sort of party or something Uh and we were both there, (laughs) we would both just like hang out around each other throughout the whole night at the party, you know? Like he'd be like, hey, let's go talk to these guys. And I'd be like, all right, let's go. And then I'd be like, hey, hey, I'm gonna go get some drinks. And he'd be like, all right, I'll go with you. Okay. I don't know why when I'm picturing this situation, I'm thinking about Ryan Reynolds having those backpacks that have a leash on it and you're attached to the leash. <laughs> no, no. We'd both be like, we're very like classy and we would just be at this like public place. Like if we saw each other at an event or something, we'd instantly be like, all right, we're going to hang out with each other the whole night mm, and just okay. like do whatever group thing, you know, like hang out, go talk to other people. But we would be around each other pretty much the whole night. That's the type okay. of friendship I see us. Not the kind where we call each other like, hey, come over, let's hang out. But the kind where if we're already in the same environment, we're not leaving each other's sides. <laughs> It's the type of friendship where you don't see each other for a while, but when you see each other, you pick up right where you left off. Exactly. That's exactly how I I I see it. And (laughs) I didn't know that. I just, before you came over, uh, because I had this question prepared, and I had this whole story about how I'd be friends with Ryan Reynolds, Mm -hmm. like, created. I Googled how old he was, and I didn't know that he was, like, 44 years old. Oh, shit. I didn't know that either. Yeah. He's 24 years older than me damn so yeah you would just be kicking it with a 44 year old yeah but that's okay in the celebrity lifestyle that's fine (laughs) there's different ages all that but do you think kelsey do you think one day i could be someone's ryan reynolds do you think do you think that someone born right now in 20 years oh god i'll be like 40 or whatever Mm. and i'll be to them their ryan reynolds like the ryan you know like like how ryan how i the person wouldn't even be born yet exactly at 24 years when i turn 24 the person is born and then when they reach 20 i'll be 44 and they will view me how i view ryan reynolds (laughs) do you think that's possible yeah you know shoot for the stars that's awesome yeah, I'm excited. Rose. Shoot for the moon, land amongst the stars. That star being Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> What's up, Rosebud? Welcome to the set. You're sitting on my phone. Yeah. What's up, pretty lady? Oh. She just burped. <laughs> my lady, you are not camera ready today, but that's okay. You could chill here. Do you have a celebrity crush? Ryan Reynolds. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Enough <laughs> enough with Ryan Reynolds. I've talked about him enough. Uh, celebrity crush? Mm-hmm. I feel like I do, but... I don't know. I think there's just so many that, like... <laughs> if What's I was, the first one that pops up in your head? <laughs> I'm thinking about Ryan Reynolds right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm trying to think, because I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have one? The one celebrity crush that I'm thinking about right now is not like my number one choice, but it's just the one that I can think about. Like I forget the other ones. That's what I mean. <laughs> that That's what I'm in. So like the one that I'm thinking about right now is Tom Holland. Mm. If you guys could see Preston's face right now. <laughs> no, what? there's nothing. I'm not, I'm not like, that's a good choice. No, you like did like a, like a like a tight lip little like smirk <laughs> what like i didn't do anything i was just saying mm. do you agree with um people say that he always looks like he has like a frog like just sitting in his mouth yeah honestly he, i see when it. he smells yeah i've seen i i get that meme yeah yeah i get it you know they casted him <laughs> in um an uncharted movie league? They're, yeah. they're making wow i can't talk either it's okay they're making an uncharted movie and they casted him yeah yeah i've heard about that i think that that's tight i think that's cool too i hope that i hope it becomes good <laughs> <laughs> okay right. i'm my, still waiting for this my celebrity crush, crush? yeah um you know 
I wish I used that time to think of one. I know I have one. I really do. I know I have one. I don't want to like waste time trying to think of one, but I need to think of one. Chris Hemsworth too. Wow, they're all popping up again. Love you, man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> glad you can think of yours. Margot Robbie. Why did I know That's, you were going to say her? <laughs> there you go. Did you know? Oh, I've already told you. met her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the one that got away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Margot Robbie. That's one. I and mean, let's just leave it at that because I can't think of any okay. more right now. But there's definitely more. Um, we're filming this episode a little early, but by the time it comes out, Valentine's Day would have passed. Um, Kelsey, do you take Valentine's Day seriously? <clears throat> okay. Um so hey rosebud we're on camera <laughs> hey 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 rosebud let's keep rosebud. it let's keep it hey. uh, pg-13 if you're gonna do least. that off go come here come here get down. nobody wants come to here. hear get you down. licking good your girl. genitals good girl. good girl go get out of here get out of here good girl go get out of here you you're out you're that was indecent <laughs> kids watch this i think i don't know <laughs> Um, okay, so I would say that I take Valentine's Day more seriously when I'm in a relationship, <laughs> but, <laughs> but like when I'm not, I, I guess that I take it as more of a day to appreciate my friends and family. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I just, that caught me off guard. Cause like <laughs> when you think Valentine's Day, you obviously think like relationship stuff. Yeah. So then when you're like. I don't know. I don't know. When you were just <laughs> in a relationship. Yeah, you you're like <laughs> when I'm actually in a relationship, <laughs> I will do stuff on Valentine's Day. Did it did it sound sad? No, it didn't sound okay. sad. It was just like <laughs> it it was funny because it sounded so obvious like, "Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Obviously you do something." Yeah. But you <laughs> and you made it seem like obviously I would do something. If I was in a relationship. Yeah, but yeah. then, you know, it's also a day where you could be like, hey, mom, hey, dad, love ya. Yeah. That's a good point. That's that's really all I'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? Do you take it seriously? I mean, I, have, I haven't been in a relationship during Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. So, no. I I don't think I've had the opportunity to take it seriously, but I feel like I would. I think I would do like something. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you do? Like what you just? I feel like the the typical thing is chocolates and flowers, but that's, yeah. that's so. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, think outside the box. Yeah. Go skydiving. Skydiving. <laughs> 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 yeah, I swear. I swear. <laughs> what? <laughs> In relation to Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. there are things that you think about. Hmm, would I rather do this, or would I rather do that? Yeah. So this or that. So, like, so, would you rather? Yeah. <gasps> Funny you mentioned that. Oh, okay. I've got, <laughs> I've got some. Valentine's Day themed would you rather questions. Okay. <clears throat> Hit me with some. All right. Would you rather get a lot of Valentines from people you don't know very well or get just one from someone who is special to you? Wait. So like do you want to be that stud that just gets everybody a bunch? is giving you Valentines? Oh no, I just get one from someone special. Okay, same. <laughs> Okay, this next one is kind of, uh, would you rather have bright red skin or have your heart beat loud enough for everyone in the room to hear it? Um, how do they come up with these? I would like to know. What the fuck have does that bright have to red do? Skin? What does that have to do with Valentine's Day? What the fuck Day? does that mean? Like, are you becoming Hellboy? <laughs> is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, wait, what is that? This is for Valentine's <laughs> Day? This is Valentine's Day related. Yes. How is... Have bright red skin or have your heart beat loud enough for everyone in the room to hear it? <laughs> like, I don't know. 
Probably the heartbeat. I'll I'll do the other one. I would I would rather have bright red skin. <laughs> that doesn't sound. <laughs> you know, just to just to spice this up a little bit. You'd be able to get into like some modeling, just for yeah. being unique. Yeah. Um, and I could be Hell Girl. Let's move to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, host a Valentine's Day party or be a guest at one. I'll, should I just skip to are like these, the more entertaining Yeah, I was ones? about to say, yeah. Are these, <clears throat> do these questions get spicier? Do they get like more? Spice. Yeah, I don't know. What, <laughs> do, would you rather go grocery shopping or <laughs> have someone else go grocery shopping for you? But they miss out on all the groceries. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> other, maybe I'll come up with one of my own. Okay. Would you rather on valentine's day go on a date to a restaurant or have somebody cook for you <laughs> probably someone cook for me okay <laughs> what about wait hold on what about you would you rather go to a for restaurant me? or have someone cook for you <clears throat> i think have someone cook for me because yeah like because if they mess up you can yell at them yeah yeah there's that too I was going to say something of more like make them feel like shit for that whole day become gordon ramsay yeah just kitchen nightmares make them idiot yeah. sandwich yeah exactly <laughs> um i was gonna say because you can have like if you're there while they're cooking it it's kind of fun to help them out it's like a <laughs> group activity you know yeah a meal you make together yeah Exactly. That's what I was thinking also. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said the question, though, it was, would you rather have someone cook for you, not help them out? Oh. But yeah, anyway. I guess I'm just a giving person. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's a good quality. What were you going to say? What's the next one? Would you rather get a Valentine's Day kiss from a big slobbery dog or get a Valentine's Day kiss from a camel? I don't know who fucking made these questions. All right, let's but just throw this to... website away. Yeah, okay. I think we could think of our own. <clears throat> For Valentine's Day, would you rather... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, would you rather... I guess it's not as easy. Yeah. You know, props to <laughs> that I website. Would I rather what? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> when you were in elementary school, did you have to like... For Valentine's Day, did you ever, like, bring a bunch of cards for all the other kids or, like, little candies for the other kids? Yeah. Why did we do that? Why did we, like, was it to just confess your love from one kid to another? (laughs) Or was it just simply just something to do? Um, I want to say that it was to, uh... It was the teacher's way of getting their, um, you know how some teachers, like, they'll have student, certain students in the class, and they'll be like, ooh, those two should get together. Like, they would make a good couple. Well, here's the thing. This is an elementary school. These are, like, okay, six-year-olds. Okay, but you, you know that there are people dating in elementary school. Yeah, but I don't think the, te- like, I don't think the grown that adult kind teachers. Of yeah, I don't think the grown adult teachers are but, like that one and that one okay but yes. it's it's more of an interesting <laughs> thought than thinking oh it's to normalize how you celebrate valentine's day as you get older and just give things to people you love and just tell them that they're appreciated is that what it is actually uh and as a kid in school maybe <laughs> yeah all right let's let's say it was because that sounded really smart um yeah no i wouldn't I don't, I, I never really, when did you stop doing that? I stopped like uh, <clears throat> fifth grade, sixth grade. Yeah. I think it stopped right after elementary school. I think it was I more, think I think I it was like a, in middle. it was like a person's choice though. Like you must've felt like socially, like I'm not going to do this this year. Yeah. And then like after elementary school, it was those like candy gram things. What? Did you not do candy grams? Like, oh, it's like, like a club or something at school would be like, oh, we're selling, um, we're selling 
heart lollipops or something. And you send it to someone? And there will be a note attached, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Yeah. I never got one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Did I'm, somebody send edible arrangements to Preston's <laughs> house right now? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I never got one. But I also never sent one to anyone. I don't think I ever <coughs> got one from like a crush. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. I think I just got it from like my friends. Oh. It's kind of like, pff, what's the fucking point? Yeah, that's boring. Yeah. Like I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to get Because then, like, then you get it. <laughs> yeah. Because then you get really excited. You're like, oh my God. Oh my God. And then you see it's, oh, it's your friend Harry Styles. Yeah, and then you're like, like what the uh, hell? What the fuck? Harry Styles? What? Yeah. Not the celebrity Harry, Harry Styles, just yeah, just, just that that kid in my fifth period. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what that would be like. Um, but weren't they called something like the ones that you would give in elementary school? Were it wasn't there like a specific name for those? I don't know. No, no, it was just to give. Because you know, like there's the candy grams. And yeah. Then there's. I don't think it had a name. I think it was just called Valentine's Day and you just give a card and candy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but did your um did your schools like ever do like anything Valentine's Day themed to like raise money besides like candy grams? Like a dance or something? Mm, no. No. Did they have Valentine's Day dances? No, they didn't. I feel like Why do I feel like it's a thing? Cause movies and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they, they ne- I, we never had one. I just remember that in middle school, uh, we had a compatibility test that everybody would take. What? Yeah. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Are you saying in middle school you would yeah. take a test to see if, yeah. like, at school or just at some school, online thing? Okay. It was like printed on like a pink sheet of paper, and it was like, okay, take this survey. Did someone mediate it? Like, they were like, you're compatible Mm -hmm. with this? Like, a person did? Or did a computer just... Just, like, based off of your answers Mm -hmm. and somebody else's answers, if they were close enough, then you got... You're compatible with this person. Would you... But you had to pay for your results. (laughs) Okay. Did you compare with other people? Or did someone tell you you were compatible with someone? Like, if if I took the test Mm -hmm. and you took the test... Would we go up to each other and be like, hey, no, no, would no. you? Okay. Yeah, it would be so someone else told you. You would turn it in and then I guess a computer, yeah. And then and that computer would be like, you're compatible with that person or that person's yeah, not Yeah, because compatible. they got like the same oh, okay. answers as you did. It would be like, oh, here's a here's 10 compatible people for you. Yeah, we didn't do that. Yeah. That was just like, that was just a way to like stir up shit in middle school. <laughs> Were you compatible with anyone? Or did you do it? Yeah, I did it. (laughs) God. Like, when I got... Like, it was just such a treat to see somebody that you thought was like, ooh, he's kind of cute, and he's, like, on your compatible list of people. Yeah. (gasps) Yeah, if I got a cute guy on my thing. Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> not the celebrity ryan reynolds the yeah ryan reynolds in your third period yeah yeah that's okay. why i'm so obsessed with celebrity ryan reynolds because he he has the same name as <laughs> regular ryan reynolds <laughs> all right i ship it yeah preston and ryan what's what's that ship name let's Pryan? stop no Pryan. <laughs> no. yeah it is me and ryan reynolds ship name yeah Pryan. Celebrity Ryan Reynolds. We're, we're, there was no regular Ryan Reynolds in case people couldn't catch on to the sarcasm or the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would be the ship name for... Mm-hmm. Brian. Reston. Uh, Ryston. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> That's worse. Uh, I mean, I'd assume... It would just be Preston Reynolds because we'd be married. Um. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the Ryan Reynolds jokes. Did you ever do that with like um, a crush of yours? You're like, oh, does my last name sound good with their name? 
Mm, no. Damn, maybe yeah. it's just like a psychotic bitch type thing. Because <laughs> 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 I'd be doing that. <laughs> no, I, I, I've kind of done that. Like I'm like Kelsey Styles. Like mm, that sounds good. <laughs> 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 i have i have done that i have done that not a lot though psychotic bitch things let's go yeah <laughs> no i think it's normal people things i think everyone maybe i mean i don't do it all the time but i think everyone has done it at least like once to whoever they find interesting or like if they're already in talking to someone <laughs> yeah they just imagine what their I'll do it names time. would like but like if our names if my name doesn't sound good with their last name i'll be like mm, it's just not gonna work are you serious? Like, like Tom Holland, Kelsey Holland, mm, doesn't sound that great. <laughs> so, sorry, Tom Holland, if you ever come around, uh, maybe well, maybe a one night type thing. But why don't you ch- why why don't you have Tom Holland <laughs> change his name? Tom Iro I Iroso I Iroso <laughs> Tom Iroso. That sounds so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, or I mean, like hyphenate it. Kelsey Aroso Holland. Uh, no, that's bad. I'm yeah. just sorry, Tom. It's not gonna yeah. work. I think it's since he's a celebrity, like just changing the name just doesn't work, no matter yeah. what you try doing. Margot Pimentel. How do you? S- is it? Is it Pimentel or Pimentel? <laughs> or you said the exact same thing twice. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Say your last name. My last name. Yeah, like which? Is it? Oh, Pimentel it's or Pimente. or Pimentel? It's Pimentel. Pimentel. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing an accent. It's Pimentel. Okay, Pimentel. <laughs> yeah. Margot Pimentel. It kind of works. Yeah. Margot, watch out. You think she'll see that? I think so. And she'll, she'll be like, name kind of works. Yeah, I think she'll be There's like, potential. oh, I have no choice now. I have to fly out there. Nah, but that wouldn't be fair <laughs> to her just because our names would work together. Just for her to feel obligated to date me. <laughs> She's just entrapped. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to celebrity Margot Robbie. That's where we're different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice, Harry. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Uh, I was Preston. I was Kelsey. And this was a typical podcast. Uh, see you guys next week. Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs>